right, if you just saw the video, part two of the Peruvian talent show, you'll remember that I mentioned that if the sum of the digits of a number is divisible by three, then the number itself is divisible by three. Now why is that? Let me prove it to you for a four digit number, and then you can extrapolate to any number of digits. So for example, let's say we have the digit ABCD, which of course is equal to 1000A plus 100B plus 10 times C plus D. And you can see again, I'm using my cardboard blackboard. I can break the thousand into 999 plus one times A, the 100 into 99 plus 1 times B, and the 10 into 9 plus 1 times C plus the D. If I bring the terms with 9's in them to the front, I get 999A plus 99B plus 9C plus A plus B plus C plus D. Now clearly, those three terms are divisible by three. One way to see that is you could divide a three out of all three terms and then divide by three. So if this is divisible by three, then the entire number is divisible by three, and that's what I was saying, that was my claim that this number will, will be divisible by 3 if a plus b plus c plus b is divisible by 3. So that's why it's, it works. Now let's apply that to finding if a number is prime or not by looking at some of the years in the vicinity of this year, which is 2019. Of course, I'm only going to use the odd numbers because even numbers are divisible by 2 and are not prime. 2011 is not divisible by 3 because the sum of the digits is only 4. But 2013 is divisible by 3 because 2 plus 1 plus 3 is 6. Similarly, if I add 6 to that, I'll find out that 2019 is divisible by 3. If I add 6 to that, I'll find out that 2025 is divisible by 3. Of course, 2025 is also divisible by 5 as is 2015, because they end in 5. If you divide by 7, you'll notice that the only number that's divisible by 7 on that list is 2023. And then you can keep dividing by ever-increasing prime numbers. If you do that, you'll find out that 2011 is prime, 2017 is prime, and both of these are prime. When you do that, how big do you have to go to divide before you know that you've gone far enough? That's an interesting question. Some people think it's half the number, but actually, if you just go up to the square root of the number, you've gone far enough. For example, the square root of 2025, is 45. So if we go up to about 45 for all of these numbers, maybe just a bit higher for these two, and we don't, it doesn't divide evenly, then we know that there's no other prime factors. Now as it turns out, 2020, 2013 is 3 times 11 times 61. 2015 is 5 times 13 times 31. 2019 is 3 times 673, 673 being a prime number. 2021 is 43 times 47. So you see we find the 43 before we get to 45. 2023 is 17 times 17 squared. And as I mentioned, 2025 is 45 squared. So, what about the Montreal Canadiens? I predict with my 2020 foresight, 2020 being next year, that they will win the cup in 
2027. So stay tuned and we'll find out.